the Yakuza's Bias Volume 2 review, Madoka Fandom Adventures of Crazy Gangsters, Magaka Teki Yatsuda, it's all up to Miss Megumi, high schooler daughter of the head of the Washio clan. She dragged Ken Kanashiro, her father's fear-inspiring second in command, along to an NMW concert and sings the fateful night. Ken has become the most devoted K-pop fan ever. His devotion to his bias, favorite singer, June has even inspired his rival, Inji Mizuhara, from the Kashima family, and now both men are the die-hard fans of the charismatic boy band. So when Megumi announces in distress that she can attend the upcoming concert because of a radio classes for exams, Ken and Kinji go in her stead. But what's this? There's a handshake event in the offing, the chance to actually meet their idols in person. And Ken would not rest until he secured himself a ticket. Meanwhile, the younger members of the Washio clan are becoming increasingly baffled by the cha change in their first boss. But the Megumi's mother, a very stylish and elegant woman, reveals that she's just an obsessed with MNW as her daughter. The whole clan is summoned for a celebratory banquet by Ken, attended by Mrs. Washio and traditional kimono, presumably to maintain her high ranking image as the boss's wife. And it turns out it's in honor of June's birthday. Mrs. Washio is more than ready to take to the stage and sing until Kin joins her in a duet. And then Miss Megumi takes over mother. Mother and daughter face a slight problem drone. They don't speak Korean. What a workout. Miss Megumi says to Kin afterwards, excited but happy with her performance. I don't know Korean drone, so we had to add a new language on the spot. But while Kin is so distracted by his bias, another rival clamp has not this as just as Kin and Miss Megumi and off to attend M&W's future anticipated comeback concert, Masakichi Jinai, second in command of the Komazawa Syndicate makes his appearance, but terrible timing for Rakan Showdown. Teki Yasuda's art captures just the right Kayakuza drama atmosphere while simultaneously turning it into his head. King Ken's crazy Yakuza expressions are truly scary, and the young members of M&W are impossible, impossibly gorgeous, and true K-pop style. It's impossible not to sympathize with the younger members of the Washio clan, drunks are trying to work out what on earth is going on yet fail to understand the magic of M&W. Nevertheless, amusing drawing the antics are, but the second volume isn't quite as fresh as it was. Ken shouting effectively amplified by Nicole Roderick's abuse of loud lettering, because a little wearing to read, after a while in, in the top, Yakuza is transformed by the power of K-pop shkit to become just a little tired of places. The series is apparently ongoing, and it still has many enduring moments. A strange description, I suppose, for a Yakuza series, as well as fascinating insights into the mindset of the band members. So it's very readable for that aspect alone. Max Greenway delivers another excellent translation for Kodansha, and the translation notes at the end are really helpful. Especially in explaining terms from Kate and J-pop fandom, there's a color page at the front, of the, and the cover art has a metallic embossing again. They will hence a Shelby's look. A great cover design for Kodansha for Phil Bosman. Voluntary is tentatively scheduled for January, 8 out of 10.